Thanks guys. We are here inside the UPMC Event Center with our basketball analyst Ethan Morrison, Cam Wickline. Thanks guys for sitting down with me today. Excited to talk. Yeah. We are just a few days away from the start of basketball season, so let's get right into it. Ethan, talking about the men's team, what are their expectations this season? Well, the expectations from this season, I mean, they had a great you know, end to the year last year with making it to the Horizon League quarterfinals, just falling to Cleveland State, but getting that first Horizon League tournament win was huge for this team. And, you know, just looking at what they got this year, coming into this year, they returned that solid core group of Enoch Cheeks, Khalil Spear, um, Michael Green the third as well, and also Matt Mayers. So to have that core group back, they're starting to build that culture back up to where it used to be before the move to the Horizon League. So they're, they're going to be a lot better than where they were last year. I'm thinking more middle of the pack this year in the Horizon League than what we've seen in years prior with them finishing in the bottom third of the Horizon League. And then speaking of the core, Cam, for you, for the women's basketball team, what is, they have a younger core. What's the ex expectations for them? I mean, this is a team that I think is going to be pretty good this year. Their first year in 2020 in the Horizon League, they had a pretty bad year. They were 4-12 and 12 in conference. They only played one out of conference game that year, but 4-13 and 13 overall, 4-12 and 12 in conference. Last year, they had a lot better year, 14-15 and 15 overall, 11-11 11 and 11 in conference, so 500. I think they're just going to keep taking another step. It's going to be their third year in the Horizon League. They, all they've done is improve, so I don't see any reason for them to not just keep doing that, and I think they might be in the running for, for the Horizon League at the end of the year. And then looking at the two coaches who are at the helm of each program, last year for the men's team, Andy Toole recorded his 200th win. You know, what do you see from him this season to help continue building that program? Andy Toole's in his 15th season overall here at Robert Morris. He's, he's preached, I mean, he's been very, very consistent, especially before that move to the Horizon League. Obviously, you know, with the move to the Horizon League, some growing pains, finishing, you know, below 500. But, you know, throughout those years in the NEC, has been very, very consistent, finishing at 500, making the, making the t conference tournaments every year. So, I mean, he has five conference championships, or has made it to five conference championship games in his tenure here at Robert Moore, so I think, you know, just keep doing what he's doing. I mean, obviously he's a tough coach. We've seen him, you know, coach a lot of a lot of players very, very tough over the years. So I think, you know, just building that culture within the program, having those returners, you know, teach that culture and, you know, really with, with Tool just continuing to do what he's been doing over his tenure here, I think they'll have a lot more success than they have over these past couple of years. And just like Coach Tool, Coach B for the women's side of things has also been very impressive, has an impressive resume, reached 100 wins last year when he came back, sitting out most of the year. Um, Cam, what do you think? How, how does he continue to build his program? I honestly just think it's going to be about continuing what he's done. He was coach of the year four times in a row in the NEC from 2017 to 2020, so he obviously dominated that, moved up to a bit better competition into the Horizon League. I, I mean, obviously, didn't go didn't go well when he first got here, but he has a program record of 25 wins in a year, so he obviously knows what he's doing. Growing pains, just going to keep working through those, just going to keep getting better and better. And then last one for both of you, you know, we, we look at the stars who are going to be leading this team in Khalil Spear for the men's team, but what's a player maybe you want to watch for to break out this season? We really saw Enoch Cheeks break out and, and get, get, you know, get a lot better than he did uh, from freshman and sophomore year, but my guy this year is going to be Matt Mayers. Last year, Matt, I mean, he got an increase in playing time over the course of the year, but you know, he threw 32 games, he appeared in 32 games, started in 23 of those, had six, averaged six points per game and four rebounds per game. I talked to head coach Andy Toole during the summer. He just talked about Matt just being more consistent on the defensive end, being more physical down low in the paint. So if he can do that, his minutes are going to exponentially increase, going to be in that starting rotation a lot more than he was last year. And, you know, just, just uh, pairing that with, you know, his offensive presence, which was pretty, pretty, which was pretty good last year. He needs to improve a little bit there as well, being more physical down low. But if he can really step up, I think he will have the biggest improvement on this team from the returners. And then, Cam, for the women's side of things, Sol Castro is expected to miss some time early in the season. Who needs to step up for that team? Well, my expectation is that Mackenzie Amelia is going to step up. She was a backup point guard last year, only averaged about five points a game. But I think the biggest difference, she's going to step into that starting role this year, and she can shoot the lights out. I mean, just simply. She was third on the team last year in three-point shooting, technically. But the two people that were ahead of her had one and seven attempts collectively. So for my money, she was first. She, she shot 35.4% from three last year. So. She's a very good shooter. I think that's going to carry her game. I think she's going to be going to be a real difference maker for the team this year. 
So thank you, Ethan. Thank you, Cam, for joining us. And the women's bas basketball team starts the season off here at home at 11 a.m. against St. Francis on Monday. And then men starts their season at 7 p.m. on the road in Ohio State. Let's send it back over to the studio.